Hey team, what's up? This is Sterlis there, back with another video, I think episode 6 of Castle Siege, and I've got a huge update for you, you can kind of see it in the background, but we pretty much finished the barn. Correction, I pretty much finished the barn. So, kind of feel bad about that, but I got really kind of carried away last night and just went for it. So, this is the barn before we get into the interior of the barn, this is what it looks like. Man, my nose is itchy. Anyway, oh no, I didn't think they could spawn on half slabs. We're gonna have to figure that out. Come on, man. Yo, diamond swords? So nerfed. Like, they just don't do the same amount of damage they used to. Uh, anyways, so this is what the uh, exterior of the barn looks like from each angle. Pretty simple, um, <laughs> to be honest, but like just enough decoration or accent to, to make it neat. So I really like this side of it, really, really, really do. Um, I got super carried away, as you can see, with the whole like roof, and uh, um, I added this like second loft and balcony area. Uh, it's a little much for a barn, I'll say, but um, it was just like too monotonous having all wood like peaked roof. So, anyways, this is the loft, which is where we're gonna have all the storage areas for our crops. And then you come up here, and there's another little loft. And I really like it because you've got this view. I didn't lose the, the, the view that you got with uh, this part of the, I don't know, the environment. So anyways, and then you can look out this way and still see the castle. So I think that's pretty neat. You come down our little stairwells right here, our ladder wells. And uh, this is the, uh, that's light. Okay, anyways, this is the interior of one section and then the lower Smaller interior of the second. I don't know what I'm going to put down here yet. But we're going to work on the interior today. And then you have the stables, of course, right here. And we're going to fence off this area so that we can start bringing in some animals. So we'll be back with that. So obviously, as you can tell, we got a few more tools enchanted. Uh, actually, just, just an axe. We just, we just enchanted an axe. But I tried this new method of planting trees. And uh, it's basically an 8x8 eight eight area. I have no idea what number that is. I tried to, like, talk and do it at the same time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, 8. Anyways, an 8x8 eight eight area of trees like this. And it's super effective. However, you really can't harvest them until all of them have spawned. Or not all, but most have spawned. Because I did two plots, basically, which I'm going to do again. So I did two plots, and I started kind of doing one as they popped up, and then it just got to be a nightmare where I'd be harvesting saplings, and then all of a sudden, uh, more saplings would show up, or harvesting saplings, harvesting wood, and then more would show up, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, seven. and uh, it took me like forever. I ended up just spending like an hour and a half just sitting here watching trees grow as I tried to uh, cut them down. So that was not the move, and then the other plot I let uh, grow, and that was pretty much more effective. So I don't know the reason for telling you all that, but anyways, our freaking diamond axe is pretty sick. Unbreaking 3, fortune 3, and efficiency 4. Pretty good. I don't know why I need fortune on it, but uh, yeah, see you back at the stables. So I pretty much am just going to fence. Let's see. Uh, I don't think they can get out there if I do this. I'm going to fence all of this in. Ah, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Anyway, so fence all of this in. And then that way they've got this like little watering hole, which they're probably going to get stuck in. So let me just do this. Terraform it a little bit. And then we're going to start moving some animals in. And uh, hopefully our farm will kind of be we're going. We're going to have, I think, just everything out in the pasture here. Like all the cows, all the uh, pigs. You know, whatever, sheep, um, probably all we need. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do now this. And then I don't want them escaping, so this all needs to be too high at least. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I think we've got it pretty much all enclosed. Uh, this is like the, the size of our pasture here, and then I've got two little fence gates that I'm going to put in right here. Perfect. And now we've got an iron golem, apparently, in our pasture, because he wants to hang out here. 
But I think it's a pretty good size. Uh, I realize that I don't have the water blocked off, and like they could just get out and go that way. But animals typically don't go in the water too much, so I think we'll be okay. Um, yeah, so I think now the next step is to start bringing in pigs, chickens, and uh, and cows. And maybe even some horses. Alright, so now we got a little pig fam started. And uh, dope. Alright, now and I think chickens, sheep, or cows. Alright, here's a ton of chickens. A whole flock. That, come on. When else can you ever use the term flock? Nice. Four chickens. Turns into six chickens. Let's go. Alright, sheep over there, and then we'll be... Got like half the rainbow right here. <laughs> this is literally so satisfying. How is this not one of the most satisfying things in Minecraft? Alright, harvested all that. Now time to go and feed the, uh, well, the freaking animals, man. I gotta finish the interior of this. We gotta do that to this episode. Hey, guy. Almost made it into the stall. Alright, let's see. What do we got first? Wheat? Who wants wheat? Okay, it's actually gonna be kind of difficult to get these guys all together. Come here. There you go. There you go. Can you guys take more carrots yet? Yeah, where's the other where's the other carrot? There he is. Come on. Come here, guy. Come here, guy. Where did he come from? There we go. This one's gonna be really interesting. Boom. Boom. What color? What color? Okay. He's a cutie. Alright, get these two. Alright, and then we need some uh, chickens. Who else we got? All the chickens are over here. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Chicken. Chicken. Alright. Alright, so we've got... Uh, our kind of storage system set up here with wheat, seeds, potatoes, carrots, you name it, we got it all. And then we've got these lights installed, just kind of like hanging torch lights. So I think I'm going to continue that through the rest of the build, and then I'll let you know what it looks like once we're done with that. All right, I think the lighting plan in here is going to have to be to get glowstone under trap doors and, uh, and then, like have it does this make sense what I'm trying to say <laughs> kind of like I did in the castle to hide the lighting a bit but um yeah I, I just think that's how it's gonna have to be because it's too dark in here even with the kind of ceiling lights that I've put in and then I'm just doing this right here to connect the village path um kind of neat I really like this like feature that they added to um have the dirt look different. I am just all over the place right now. There we go. Yeah, not bad. Pretty cool. So this is the interior. We finished this up. Uh, I still don't know what I'm going to do in here. I have no idea. I really don't know what I was going to do with most of this space. This build got super out of hand super quickly, as you can all tell, because when I left you, we just had a frame, and then when I came back, we had this monstrosity, but I really like the way it looks. I think it looks pretty cool, to be honest. Um, I do like that we have an iron golem in here, and then we've got a pretty good little farm going. We've got quite a few sheep, quite a few chickens. We're working on the chick the uh, cows and the pigs, and then we'll be able to start harvesting them and stuff like that. But I really do like the way this, this building looks. I think it could have been even like a cool house had I decided to do that. I think it's a little too narrow on the inside. But like if I had made this kind of like an outcrop. I'm just saying this in case you wanted to use this design for maybe your own kind of house. But I think it's a pretty cool looking barn. I really like the way it looks rustic. Ooh, one thing I do need to do is go get a lot of that mossy cobblestone and then place it, disperse it. So I'm going to go do that. And then I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. So much better. I've got some mossy cobblestone. I used probably about a stack. Uh, dispersing it throughout the build. But I think it breaks up some of the uh, cobblestone. And that's actually why I did a uh, cobblestone mix into the build. Instead of just doing a wooden barn. Or maybe using wool to do like an actual red and white barn. You know. Um, first off, I wanted to make it look like it was part of the village. Second off, I wanted a chance to use some of that mossy cobblestone we've been collecting. So, pretty sweet that we were able to do that. And, uh, 
Really? I think it looks pretty good, guys. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I really should have time-lapsed me, like, finishing the build, but, you know, hey, hindsight's twenty twenty. I didn't do that. But uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video today. So I think it was a bit of a short one, but that's all right. I've had some long ones in the past few, so we're just making up for it, right? Good karma. Anyways, like, subscribe, uh, and comment if you want to see more. Thanks, guys. It's been Sterlis there. I should see you guys again before Christmas, but in case I don't, Merry Christmas, guys.